I realized as I'm soldering this together for the new crate and build, I could do a little video. So I started, but I'm gonna restart it so that hopefully you guys can see what I'm doing. So this is an IC5 connector. I got a little pack that comes with a male and female. Um, I run all IC5 on my batteries. So all IC5. It's just kind of where I started and that's why I'm gonna add it on here. The Max 6 comes with just regular wires with a bit of tin already on it. Um, I've added some heat shrink. So it's gonna go over top the cap. This is the cap that comes with the IC5 connector. And we're gonna go ahead and solder these on. Essentially what you're doing is you're taking this and you're laying it flat and then taking the soldering iron and pressing it on top. You want a little bit of a puddle in here and a little bit on here, which it already comes with a bit, but you want a bit more. You place it and press it. So you want to get your iron nice and hot. Get some of your tin. I should be doing this with my right hand, but I guess I'm not. So basically we're going to just hold this here for a sec, get it nice and hot and just start a little puddle in here. Okay, don't need too much. I'm just gonna get a little bit of this on the end of the tip. Okay, so we got a bit on the end. And then all we're gonna do is if I can not bump the camera, so we're gonna place this on here and then we're just gonna hold this down. And it's going to weld just like so. And if you were a little unsure, you could always add a little bit more if you wanted. Just just like so. I am by no means a professional here, but just showing you guys how to do it. Okay, so let's undo our clamp. Do the other side. So this side I was just starting already, which is why. So you would go ahead and puddle it a little bit. So it's nice and puddled. Don't want too much. We're gonna get the second one. So we've already got a bit of tin on the end, which we've just added here. And we're gonna now put it on here. So got this thing nice and hot. And all we're gonna do is lay this here. Okay. I'm gonna hold it down kind of see it start to melt. Kind of melts in there. Hold it for a sec. There we go. And if we want to add a little bit more tin, we can just pop some on there. There we go. Nice big blob. I unfortunately have a bigger tip here, so it kind of catches the edge of the connector. It's better if you have a slightly smaller tip, but this is what I've got. So we're going to use it. So this cap goes on. It clips on like that. It's quite solid. And then what we're going to do is we're going to bring this over we're gonna hopefully heat shrink it. Okay. 
Basically, I just put over the shrink wrap to help protect this case here because this tends to crack often. So just helps with a little bit more protection there. So nice green flash. Everything works good. Look at how clean this build turned out. Couldn't be more happy. This thing is going to rip.